resides in two worlds with companion traveled, bargain with the ruler of the dead, a loss too great to bear, a great battle to witness. Only then will lovers be reunited again. Welcome to the Untold Odysseys, the story of Eureka, Episode 8, Return to the Fire. After the heartwarming reunion of Eureka and Dentra, they decided they must adventure onward to the Forge of Hephaestus if they ever wanted to discover the truth. Which is conveniently located at the base of Mount Olympus, with a beautiful waterfront view. There is not a waterfront view. Shh! I'm trying to give them imagery. Well, it is incorrect. Oh, they don't know that. They're just mortals. Moving on. Eureka and Dentra have just entered Hephaestus' shop to find out what happened to Ambrosine. As usual, he isn't happy. A child. In my forge. I have traveled far. You know, when I was your age, I walked to school uphill both ways. You are a god. You did not go to school. You are right. Instead, I was thrown off Mount Olympus by my mother and crippled forever. Now what the Hades do you want from me? You are a woman, dainty as it seems, so it cannot be for a weapon. I could be here for a weapon. But no, I came for information. Information? What information do you want from an old man? About the death of my lover, Ambrosine. And why would I have any knowledge of that? I am not the god of love, wisdom, or death. I am simply the god of the forge. What would I know about that? She was burned at your hearth in Thesby. Oh, that? I do know something about that. And? You know, my mother was a terrible mother to me. I was not perfect, so she threw me off a cliff. I had to fend for myself. I had to prove myself to her. Even when I survived and proved my worth at the forge and fire, I was still not good enough. What does this have to do with anything? Yeah. Uncle, what does this have to do with anything? Nothing, I suppose. Can you help us? Yes, but I do not think you would like the answers you have come to seek. It is best to turn back and avoid this horrible truth. I have been to the underworld. I watched Dentra burn alive. I have seen my fair share of terrible truths. I have been followed by many men and creatures that were sent by your wife. I have been all over Greece to find answers. I need the truth. Athena called her the truth seeker. So why would she stop seeking for the truth? The death of my love, Ambrosine, already destroyed me. The truth will bring her back and into my arms. There is nothing that the will- The truth could destroy you. No. It will destroy you. My father? Why do you believe that? We, we were always together. Maybe he caught on. Maybe he knew the truth between Ambrosine and I. Maybe he killed her to prevent us from being together. You are a smart child. Maybe you are ready to listen to the truth. Was I correct? Just listen. You might want to take a seat. Well, she'll finally know who killed her lover. Why did you interrupt the story? The listeners want to know too. She still has to talk to Hades so she can tell the listeners the truth then. So we are prolonging the truth? All the best shows do. Good thing Dentra told her the right path. My queen would not let that nymph remain in my domain. Do you think Eureka will succeed? We will see. He will have to remember Hephaestus' word if she has any hope of seeing her love Ambrosine ever again. Iris and I have a bet going to see if she succeeds. I never officially agreed to that. Sure, try to look like a goody two-shoes for Hades. Anyway, she is betting in favor of Eureka. I'm saying she's going to fail. With all she has been through, she is not going to accept failure. I guess we'll see when she talks to Hades. Tune in every Tuesday and Thursday at 12.15 and 4.45, or go to theaterofthemindcompany.webs.com. Theater is spelled T-H-E-A-T-R-E. Thanks for listening to this episode of The Untold Odysseys, The Story of Eureka.